Hey guys, I want to welcome you guys back to another episode of Link Us to Bushcraft. Today I want to talk to you guys about eating out in the woods and also I want to do another review on, and not like I said, I've already done a good review on it I believe, but the camera work, I didn't realize this, but when I was actually editing the videos, I was putting it up for, um, I don't even know what it was, it's called fast mode. Uh, what causes it to happen is the pixels get all blurred, and you guys can tell in the videos, I mean, it looks really shiny. But anyways, this is the Quick Hatch Quick Lure. Now, there's a gentleman that is, I guess he does the videos and pictures on Quick Hatch, but he asked everybody, you know, hey, is there any way you guys can come up with some content? And I told him, I was like, hey, I've already done a video, but I would love to do another one. Now, I absolutely love Love, 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 love. Quick quick hatch knives. Now, I used to always want a, a trapper. But this guy, I mean, if you guys can pick that up. Sorry, this sounds like right here. So it's either like, step back. There's one shade. And light. <laughs> so anyways. Yeah, I mean, this guy's work is just out freaking standing. And I'm really hoping this time it actually picks up these scales. This is a hybrid handle. You see how it's yellow there? But it's got wood. And I'm not really sure what this stuff is right here. So, if anybody knows what this is, please let me know. Now, I'm pretty sure uh, Britain Good knows exactly what it is. I hope I said his name right. I'm real bad at names. I'll forget my son's old name. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, it's just absolutely outstanding. Uh, you can see the little, almost looks like there's some kind of plant or some matter in there, like plant-like. It's really neat. It's not going to pick it up because... Yeah. But like I said, really neat. But anyways... Today is my birthday. I wanted to get out in the woods and I wanted to cook some food, enjoy the day. It is beautiful out today. Got out some weather finally. It's in the 50s. But enough rambling. I am going to get started. So let's watch.
Now this knife does come with a very aggressive 90 degree spine, which makes starting a fire pretty easy. So this is what I'm eating for my lunch. We got vegetarian chili with beans, and we got chili mac with beef. And for dessert, we got ration bars, sugar cookies. We're gonna use some flour tortillas. Orange flavored drinking mix, dried fruit mix. So now this, as you can see, is I have to actually use it on the rock next to it. So but this one I'm going to put in my Ozark trail pot. As you can see, smoke's going right towards me. So we're going to get started on that. Let's see if this is done. And pretty close. I'm gonna get my spoon and stir it. Probably another two or three minutes, I'll be done. Now, as you can see, I screwed up on the MRE pack, got it too close to the fire, and also didn't have water in it. So, this is the first time I've ever tried one of these. So, you live and learn. It does have instructions on it. You would think it was dumbass improved. Dumbass proof, but my dumbass proved wrong. chili in my bowl I'm sorry to get stuck on here there we go suckers on because the sucker is hot which I should have done in the first place one thing's about to overflow yeah that'd be good use my Ozark trail spoon which I'm telling you guys this thing those are awesome so let's set that down one thing this thing needs is some salt and pepper I do have some utensils. These things are great. Just bring them from me. I mean, any anywhere carries these. But salt and pepper. Yeah, 
tortillas. Stir this bad boy up. And I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Tell my face, like my facial expression on that was ow. This sucker just went in my back, and that did not feel good at all. So, thorns are no bueno. good. That's really good. Holy oh, crap, that's good. I did bring Capri Sun because why not? Get some fruit flavor. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. It's the first thing I've eaten all day. So, got some tortilla shells. I'm gonna break up. Now the MRE bag we actually end up doing was four in here because this thing was so hot. <laughs> well, I don't want to eat that. I guess I had a thorn in my hair. I just fell out my chili. Alright. I was looking for the dried nuts, but oh well. That was the least to have a bunch of stuff I want to try. I do want to try these sugar cookies though. Now those MRE packs you can get at a lot of surplus stores, and they're like eight bucks. And they last about four or five years. Now, if you ask me, mills that last you four or five years for eight under ten bucks is just flat out amazing. These suck. But with the chili, it's pretty decent.
hit a harder ship. But, like I said with this, it's not bad. Let me pop this thing off. Make this a little easier on me. All right, guys. I'm gonna finish my meal, and then I'm gonna wrap this video up. Surrounded by thorns, you can't tell. All right, guys. Now, the whole point of this video was. I mean, besides just getting out in the woods and enjoying this beautiful day. Now, this knife is just, I mean, I, I just can't get over. It is literally a working piece of art. It's got yellow liners, like I said, it's got hybrid handles. Now, exactly what they are, like I said, I don't know. I wish I did. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is just amazing. I cannot say enough good things about this knife. And I know there's been a lot of reviews on his trappers, but man, his quick lures are just, like I said, I haven't tried a trapper. I, I've been, I, that's the funny thing. For years, I was trying to get one, and I don't make a lot of money. Uh, I do have a big collection of knives, and really, it's all my uh, spare money I used to spend on was knives or outdoor gear. I mean, hell, my bag I got for uh, uh, Christmas one year, and it's not even that nice of a bag, but it works good for me. That's all that matters. Now, these knives, uh, they're not stupid expensive. I mean, they're going to be a few hundred dollars, but for any quality handmade knife, you're going to spend a few hundred dollars. You know, a lot of people, and this isn't your trade. This isn't your freaking, you know, they make thousands and thousands of them in production. I mean, this is hand freaking made. This dude cut the steel he treated it. Every handle is made. I mean, this whole knife is handmade by one guy. So, I mean, that's fucking outstanding. Now, like I said, I mean, when you start getting handmade knives, you are going to get up, you know, a few hundred dollars. Which, in my opinion, I think this is still a fucking amazing deal for this knife. You know. But, yeah. Like I said, I, I was asked to make a video and Today's my birthday, so I kind of want to do a little something different. But I'm going to wrap this video up here in a little bit. So I'm going to enjoy the out outdoors. Just look at that thing. I turn this way, it looks green. I think that's so cool. It's, uh, it's like this resin. It's got these little plant fibers in it. I think that's really neat. I really wish I could pick those up better. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, the whole point of this video was me to get out in the woods and just, I wanted to show off this knife a little bit. Uh, there was a guy on Quick, Hack, Quick Hatch Knives. I keep stumbling on that word. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, on their Facebook page, asking me if I could do some content on his knives. And I have already done a review on this knife. Like I said, this Quick Lure is by far one of the most beautiful, amazing tools I own. So I am very lucky to own this. And you guys can also own one of his knives, too. So, but anyways, if you guys would, please like, share, subscribe. Um, go to Quick Catch Knives, check them out, and talk to them. Get your knife made. I said you will not be disappointed but besides that i do have a facebook page now link 
link us to bushcraft and uh please come join you know share your guys knowledge i absolutely love to see people on there and share knowledge that's the whole point of the page is about this whole point what i try doing on here i don't have a lot of knowledge so i try to share what i know so and try to be somewhat entertaining about it but besides that guys get in the woods enjoy life god bless thanks for watching